Hey guys, Cliff here from the Mahalo team, and with me I have Greg Kasavin, who's uh, working on Bastion right now. And Greg, what can you tell us about this game? Uh, well, I, I can tell you everything about the game. Uh, it's our first game as a studio. We're called uh, Supergiant Games, but we're just seven guys uh, based out of a living room in a house in San Jose, California. Uh, so we're a pretty small team, but uh, we we left our jobs at companies like uh, Electronic Arts and Infinity Ward in order to make something a little more personal, and, and Bastion is uh, the result of that. It's an action RPG where the entire experience is, is kind of uh, dynamically narrated. The ground forms up under his feet as it moves away. Uh, so there's a narrator who's uh, remarking on your every action through the game, gradually unraveling the story as you go. Um, and that, that may sound a little strange, but uh, the response we're getting to it has been really, uh, like really positive, almost uh, overwhelmingly so for us. Yeah, I, I just got to play it for a little bit, and the narration is really awesome. The humor is great. Like when you fall to your death, yeah, yeah. it's like, and then he fell to his death. I'm oh, just kidding. Yeah. So yeah, it's great. It works really well. Thanks. Yeah, those, those kind of uh, th that moment is always uh, we always get a kick out of that. Um, when people see it for the first time, but uh, it's a really important moment to us because it, it tells you, you know, not only does it establish some of the humor in this game, but it tells you a little something about the narrator and that he's going to mess with you a little bit. He's not just going to give everything to you straight. So uh, the narrator is a really important character for us, and uh, the narration is pervasive through the game. We recorded thousands of lines. Um, you know, you'll never hear it all. Uh, your first time, probably not even your second or third time through the game. So, very impressive. And uh, how long have you been working on it? Uh, Bastion started development in September 2009, so it's a little less than two years now. Um, yeah, just about two years, and now uh, the game is almost done. And uh, we, uh, it was just confirmed that we're part of the Summer of Arcade on Xbox Live. So we're we're uh, really honored to be a part of that. Uh, following in the footsteps of games like Braid and Castle Crashers that like uh, inspired this studio to begin with, um, where you know small groups of people could make these kind of emotionally powerful games. Um, so I'm great to see uh, how people are enjoying it. That's awesome. Um, I see already it's gotten a lot of uh, nominations for Best of E3 and awards, and I just it was a great time playing it. So I can't recommend it enough to people out there who are interested who maybe don't know about it. So. Definitely check out Bastion when it releases. Do you have an official date of when it's coming out yet? Uh, we don't have an official date, but uh, Summer of Arcade starts on July 20th and goes for five weeks, so it'll be somewhere in that July-August time frame for sure. Awesome. So. Sounds good. So once again, Greg Kasavin, a big, uh, big uh, I was going to say hero of mine, oh. but I would say no, mentor no. and, oh, um, yeah, awesome guy. Thanks, Thanks Greg. So